welcome to another edition of Wednesdays at 3. I'm Danielle Bowton with the Realtors Association of the Palm Beaches, and I'm here today with Corey Sabin, um, who is president of CS Media Works. And uh, you may recognize Corey's face. He spent 15 years as a broadcaster, most recently with uh, ABC News Station out of West Palm Beach. So you may have a familiar face. Thank you so much for coming today. Thanks for having me, Daniel. Appreciate it. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit today about uh, how you can use the media to your advantage in your real estate business. But first, why don't you tell them a little bit about what you do with CS sure. Media? I started CS Media Works about two years ago, and essentially what I do is help realtors and other executives and individuals network and increase their bottom line by using the media to their advantage, speaking out in public, using their sources, and essentially getting out there to build their brand by using all of their components and showcasing their knowledge. Great, so why would it be beneficial for a realtor to get in front of the, the media? In this market, it would be incredibly beneficial for a realtor to get yeah. in front of the media. Every media station right now is doing a piece called the economy or fixing the economy or anything related to the economy and what they all want to do is tie in something that we can all relate to. Well, what is something we can all relate to? One thing is weather, which is why you see it nonstop on the news, and the other one is the economy, creating jobs, creating growth, and housing. We all know the mess that we're in with the housing boom right now. So what everybody's trying to do in the media is tie into that and position themselves as an expert in that or find an expert in that. And how realtors can really benefit is by getting their name out there and positioning themselves as that go-to person. That person that can say, well, right now is the time to buy. Case in point, Barbara Corcoran on NBC. Is she the best realtor in the world? No, but when she speaks, people listen and she commands fees of up to $100,000 when she speaks. And she's on the Today Show and she positions herself as an expert just talking about curb appeal and how you can make your house more appealing to potentially sell it. The media needs people like that. And typically I've worked with some realtors in the past on getting them ready for the real estate, uh, excuse me, getting them ready for the media and selling their story. That's great. Yeah, it's especially in this current market, it's a, it's a great time because everyone's talking about real estate and whether they own right now or or they're thinking about getting into it because the prices are low. It's a very popular topic right now. Sure. Should I sell? Should I buy? What's a short sale? Right. What is a, What do I do if my bank wants to foreclose? Should I not pay the bank? Can I score a deal? Right. Everybody's looking for something. Yeah, at all levels of the process, there's a lot of questions right now. And um, so when you're, when you're approaching the media, who do you contact? Where do you start? Well, you would think it would be the anchor because they're the one that you see on TV, mm -hmm. but never approach the anchor mm -hmm. because they don't really have the juice, if you will. I mean, you can approach them, but your best person to contact is to call the newsroom, and you can simply find that number by Googling it, and then ask for the assignment desk, and then tell them what you do. But you have to have a story. You have to say to yourself, why am I doing this story today? And it's gotta have what's called the so what factor. Because you're raising money for a charity, so what? But it's a young man that unfortunately got in an accident and his family needs the medical help and the money to pay for that medical help, that's got the so what factor. So essentially what you wanna do is call that person and write up a simple press release because they'll ask you for that. That's the five bullet points, who, what, where, when, why, and how. Okay, so you would submit that with your- They'll say to you, you uh, well, what's your story? Do you have a press release? Okay. And then you, you would say, down. boom. Give me your fax number and you send it off and follow up and make sure you have some meat. And what happens is people become so self-engaged in their stories mm -hmm. that they'll say, well, this is a story, why didn't I get coverage? Mm -hmm. That's why guys like me help out people to get on TV. I'm like PR, I'm not promoting you. Mm -hmm. What I'm doing is teaching you to build your brand overall mm -hmm. and build you overall to make you a more effective communicator and to make you more successful in what you do. Great. And so what should a realtor um, keep in mind when they're being interviewed? What are some tips? Oh, there's a lot of tips. <laughs> For example, this tip right here. Look at the person asking the questions, then cheat and look at the camera and fight the audience in. Mm -hmm. What else should they keep in mind? They want to keep their legs spread a little bit so that they don't start dancing and doing this. That's the biggest thing I have with my clients. They're all doing the meringue game. So I say keep your legs That's spread true, a little bit. Yeah. Use your hands because you're comfortable using your hands. Use your eye contact, smile, and uh, really just be engaging. Mm -hmm. Keep it simple, silly. Yeah, I always feel like um, 
well, I'm holding this today, so my hands are being uh, taken, <laughs> being used, but I feel like I, I talk a lot with my hands, and I always wonder if that's something that I should be doing. Well, it's absolutely great, <laughs> because it loosens you up, and it's natural, as opposed to these people who stand like this, or they'll do this, mm -hmm. or they'll do the fig leaf position with their hands behind their back. <laughs> you know, just enjoy yourself. Yeah. And just really, if you talk about something that you're interested in, mm -hmm. you light up and you become passionate. And all of you, I assume, are interested in real estate, so you should be passionate mm -hmm. about it. Which is, which is a really good tip because a lot of people are nervous about getting in front of the camera and they don't think that they can do it. But if you can go to a listing appointment and be successful and sell yourself there, you should be able to you know, put that into in, in front of the camera, I think. I know it's different. I know you it's, would hope. It's, it's different, I know. but. It, it does get easier, I, just from my experience being on the camera here, um, it definitely gets easier as you go. Yeah, absolutely. It's like riding a bicycle. The more you do it, the easier it gets. Mm -hmm. And the other tip is typically uh, in this day and age, the reporter will set up and be the cameraman. Mm -hmm. So they'll be doing it all. Mm -hmm. Engage the reporter, get a rapport going with them so you feel comfortable before they start. And when they're lined up next to the camera, don't look at the camera, look at the reporter who's next to it. Mm -hmm. And um, sometimes the media has a way of turning the real estate industry a little bit negative, um, it's a little doom and gloom. So if you are being interviewed as a realtor and the reporter wants to pull you that direction, do you have any tips of how to maybe bring the conversation back? Absolutely. Well, there is doom and gloom, let's be honest. Yeah. There is doom and gloom. Mm -hmm. So if you're coming in with the expectation that they're just going to start selling your company and what you do as the experts, well, you need to position yourself that way. So if they ask you about something negative, what you can simply do is answer the question you want to answer. You see it all the time with politicians. You ask them a question and they'll answer what they want to answer. Are you for health care? Well, instead of saying yes or no, they'll say, well, health care is the right of every American citizen and we all deserve to have quality health care. This is the greatest country in the world. Mm -hmm. Did they answer the question? No. <laughs> they stated a fact. Right. So you could do the same thing. You know, this is a housing situation right now that's, you know, uh, it's fair game for everyone and everybody's got an opportunity to get something, whether at the high end or the low end. So I would say just get involved. Yeah. You know, and that's a nice way to spin something negative into a generalized statement. Mm, that's good. And uh, any closing uh, tips to give on? Uh, let's see. You can build your brand. Most people don't realize that all of the groups they belong to, all of the clubs they belong to, all of the networking dinners they go to, mm -hmm. By public speaking, a lot of the clients I work with, I work with on promoting their brand via public speaking. Why that's beneficial is it goes back to the Barbara Corcoran reference. You're positioning yourself as an expert. People see you up there, so they start thinking to themselves, well, there must be a reason they invited him. Right. They must be good at it, or I wouldn't have invited him. Mm -hmm. So by positioning yourself as an expert and creating a worthwhile speech, you're going to just increase your brand, build your brand, and then also social media. What I would say is, do little vignettes and let your website work for you as well. I've been doing that a lot with clients now, working on their public speaking, videotaping that, cutting it down to about 60 second little vignettes and getting it out there. Or for example, in your field, I would ask uh, if I was working with a realtor right now, what's a short sale, what's a foreclosure, how do I get one? Mm -hmm. 10 basic questions that consumers have and I'd have, have you answer them in 45 seconds or less, put them on your website so that people can connect with you mm -hmm. right away now. Right. I don't have to get out and speak. I'm seeing you as the expert. Yeah, and uh, we we definitely recommend to our members a lot that they get involved with video because they can have a little understanding about your personality right away. Exactly. You know, with um, as soon as they see that video, if they feel that they have a connection with you, you know, you have so much of a, a stronger chance of getting that phone call rather than just a picture or, or nothing at all. Just you're, just you're broadcasting right. then instead of narrow casting. Right. You're right. So right. if you can connect with the person, bam, you're golden. Yeah, it's it's definitely different than just some it comes down to one word. Fun. Relationships. You right. do business with people you have a relationship Absolutely. with. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, those are some really great tips, and we thank you very much for coming, and, and how can they uh, reach you if they have some questions? Um, if you have any questions you'd like to reach me, my phone number is 561-626-9809, or you can visit me at www.csmediaworks.com. Thanks so much, and I look forward to hearing from you. Happy selling. <laughs> thank you, and thanks so much again for coming, and uh, thank you all for tuning in. And we will see you again next week for another edition of Wednesdays at 3.